stupid, 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 stupid. Three days later. Skip ahead several days. And it is all repainted. It's a little bit darker of a blue, um, but it looks way better. I actually sprayed it out of a gun. I used legitimate paint. Um, the fairing didn't turn out perfect, but that's okay. Um, doesn't matter. It just it looks better than it did. Um, basically, I sprayed some of. Where's it at? It's under there. Don't worry about it. There's there was some old clear coat I had from painting my very first Jetta, which I. Didn't even make YouTube videos before when I did that, so um, it worked really good with that, but it did not work really good with the bike. Um, either there was something on the tank, or there was something wrong with the clear coat. The clear coat's like five years old, so there was something wrong, and it just left a whole bunch of you know marks and like pits in the clear coat. It just looked so bad. So um, this was the best option. We just repainted it real quick. I did it in about an hour, but it's been drying here for the last couple of days um but it looks really good but we have to put the bike back together before we take it for a ride i know in the last part of this video i said we were gonna you know finish up the turn signals which we did um the turn signals work now they blink fast for some reason it's an old bike they're just so tedious with like blinking fast so i have i have a relay that i have to put on to make it blink slower so we're gonna do that eventually down the road but um, today I just want to get the bike back together and running again so we can take it for a ride um, on camera and Then we'll be good to go, but yeah, the paint's already done um, again. Sorry. I didn't film it um, If you guys want to see like a how-to on on painting something we can we can work something out um, Raquel's GTI over there is about to get painted. Well, not about to but it's going to get painted and also I officially decided I'm very very much against the paint on the Jetta here. I know we're getting sidetracked from the um, From the bike, but this paint is awful. It is the worst paint job. I've ever seen in my life um, From far away. It looks real nice, but I mean well, there's a bunch of bird stuff on there but like there's DA marks where they just didn't they just sanded into the hood real far like down into the primer too far and you can see it all over the hood there's runs there's like weird cracks going on there just like orange peel here um the back of the trunk lid was clearly body work there's dings there's dents this big scratch here huge run there i don't know if you can see it on camera um, but there's a huge run there dings and dents in the door the trim's missing Paint missing there, the lip is cracked and missing paint. The worst paint job I've ever seen. Um, I believe it was painted by Mako. Um, again, they just paint, so it was somebody else who did the prep work, um, but they did a horrible job painting the car. It just looks so bad. There's like one layer of clear on it. We tried to buff it out a little bit on the hood to make it look a little better. And I mean, we had the buffer on there for like a minute and it just absolutely burned right through the clear coat. So that's getting painted. If you have any ideas on the color, just uh, make a comment and uh, I'll uh, consider it. Right now I'm considering a couple different colors, um, one of them being the same color actually. Um, when I was in high school, I had a 2001 1.8T um, that I painted. I'll actually throw a picture of it up so you can see that. So yeah, that's what my first one looked like. Um, when I bought that one, I really wanted a Tornado Red GLI, which is what I have, but I, I guess it would be more special to me if I painted it myself and it was a, like, really cool custom color that we did. But, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know which color we should do. All right, first step of this, I have to put these grommets back in, put the bolts back in that grommet there, put the bolt back in so the, the tank is completely mounted down. Um, I also broke the gas line again, and I forgot to tape this off, so this is painted, but it actually doesn't look that bad to me, so. We have to replace the gas line again. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I broke the gas line again, so we have to fix that, mount the tank down, uh, fill it with gas, because it's, it's empty, so we're gonna have to put gas in it. I, mean, I guess I'll run up to the gas station and, and grab some gas in, because there's none here, so we're gonna put some gas in it. Um, Next step we're going to do is to put the rear fender on, then we're going to put the front fender on, and then we're going to mount the fairing. And that's it. 
it's a uh, it's that simple i also still have to fix the gas leak i might look into that in this video or i don't know we'll see All right, I have to find some hardware for the gas tank so it doesn't move around anymore because I never had that bolted down. Only had it on a couple test rides. Now it's completely registered, so I want to get that bolted down so I can actually ride the bike. Um, then we can start putting back and front fender on in the fairing. But first, I need a Red Bull. Turn signals still work. Looking good. Just got to do the front end. zip ties well there's some wiring I need to clean up but uh, I ran out of zip ties so I'm gonna run and get some so at this point I got back from the hardware store and my microphone stopped working so I filmed the rest of this video which is about three minutes without sound at all um i dropped the, the camera and i didn't think anything happened to the microphone but when i unplugged it the microphone was you know all falling apart so right now i'm just showing off the bike because i put the front fairing on it um the, it turned out great the paint job looks really good it looks way better than the first one Right here, I just finished up putting some gas in the bike, and we're going to go ahead and get the bike started here in the next scene that you're about to see. Let's have some cool engine noises here. And just like that, it started right up. Um, now I'm going to come pick the camera up and talk about how good the paint job turned out, which I'm pretty surprised at how good it turned out, considering I painted it like in my shop. They they got some dust in it, but... Um, judging from the fact that I didn't have it in a paint booth or anything, it turned out pretty good. So, um, a couple of minutes here, we're going to take the bike for a ride, but here I'm just kind of showing off the bike, and in the next clip, we're going to talk about the oil leak that you see right there on the ground. Um, basically, the stator cover had a small crack in it, and it was, like, 
just leaking a little bit of oil over the course of like 10 or 15 minutes that the bike was sitting there warm because um, I already did previously take the bike for a ride here um, but I put some RTV over that to fix the problem for now until the new stator cover comes in the mail. So the next thing I talk about is the fact that the bike doesn't have any filters on it and that I believed that the bike had some restriction issues because it wasn't restricted enough which sounds weird but um, if it, a bike doesn't have filters on it the carbs get too much air and then it causes like a, a big vacuum leak basically and then the bike doesn't want to idle so off camera I put some like filters on it and it actually ran a lot better um, so in the next scene we go ahead and take the bike for a ride. Again, sorry for my mic not working out the way it should have. Um, if you like this video, please give us a like, comment, and subscribe so I have some feedback.